guys, Miss Susie here with our third edition of Virtual STEM Club. If you're joining us today, you're joining us because you're interested in learning how to make dancing corn kernels. Uh, hopefully you picked up your kit last week and inside your kit you got your instruction sheet. You also got your corn kernels and you got your baking soda. You'll notice this week that you will actually need a cup of white vinegar to complete our project. And you're probably thinking, Miss Susie, baking soda and vinegar is going to make an explosion. Well, we're going to do this very, very gently, so gently that we're not going to quite cause an explosion, but we are going to make these corn kernels dance. Now, how many of you are so excited for Thanksgiving dinner and truly enjoy the corn? I can tell you, my children, corn is probably their favorite part. <laughs> All right, so I have already pre-measured my um, two cups of water that you will need for this recipe. So two cups of water. You'll also need a large jar to put it all in. So you're gonna do that. And I used a vase because this is all I had here at the library, but you can use a large mason jar if you want, or if you had a really tall drinking glass, that would work as well. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add two tablespoons of baking soda. And in your little cup that I gave you, it's already measured out for you. So you're gonna go ahead and dump the whole thing in the water. Then you're gonna get a spoon and you are going to mix the baking soda in the water very, very thoroughly. And it's gonna look nice and cloudy. It's gonna be some nice, baking soda mixed with water. Okay, so once we think we've got it all mixed up nicely, so you don't see any baking soda in the bottom, we are going to add our corn. Now you can add all of it if you want, or you can save some uh, to try a different experiment later if you'd like to do it another way that we're gonna discuss. So you can save it or put them right in. You'll notice What's happening? They're sinking right to the bottom, right? Because these corn kernels sure are heavier than water. Okay. So the very next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add our vinegar. And this is pre-measured vinegar, white vinegar. Uh, your mom or dad might have it at home used for all kinds of good stuff like cleaning and pickling. And we're gonna watch a chemical reaction happen. And in your instructions you'll share it'll say that we're very, very, very going to slowly pour it in. And you'll see what's happening to the corn. If my um, videographer could zoom in a little, you'll notice as we're slowly pouring the vinegar, these corn kernels are starting to rise to the, cop to the top here. And they're hopefully going to do a little dance on top of the bubbles. So you can just slowly keep pouring it in, okay? And once you stop pouring it in, is now when you're gonna start to see these, kernels, the, these corn kernels do their little dance. And unfortunately, I'm having a hard time saying corn kernels, so let me say that again clearly for my friends. And over here, if you can get nice and close for us, you'll notice they're starting to pop and jiggle and dance and eventually, when this chemical reaction is over, as we're gonna see, because the baking soda and vinegar reaction won't last forever in the water, they're gonna sink back to the bottom. But for now, they're getting ready to dance a little. And you'll know, oh, there goes one. They're popping, they're dancing. Now, would you wanna use your corn kernels after this to make popcorn? Probably not. But if you did what I said and you saved some of your corn kernels, you can also try this, and if you don't have vinegar at home, if you have a seltzer water, which is a very popular beverage right now, just a plain seltzer water, or even one with a little flavor, it wouldn't matter, and you do the same exact thing, but instead of using the water, baking soda, and vinegar, you'll put your corn kernels in, and you'll dump the can or the bottle of seltzer in it, it's gonna kind of start to do the same reaction. And once the fizziness starts to go away, you're gonna notice that the kernels are actually gonna start jumping up and down. 
kind of like they're doing right now. Now you'll notice they're just kind of popping up and popping down. They're doing a little like jiggy hop with their necks. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and for the sake of doing it, I'm gonna add the very, very last of my vinegar. Use up all my materials. Oh! So in the instructions, guys, you're gonna notice that I very clearly specified you do have to pour your vinegar in very slowly because if you don't, and you've been to any of our other STEM club activities, you'll know baking soda and vinegar is gonna cause a explosion. So make sure that you pour it. For December's STEM club, we're gonna make a candy house, uh, very similar to a gingerbread house, but made with different ingredients. So make sure that you pay attention to that, all right? Have a great, great Thanksgiving, and I hope to see you in the library soon.